Hey, what is going on, guys? In today's video, we're going to be doing a beginner's guide of how to use aim assist effectively and allow you to pull off clips like this. No, he's, on, he's still on the roof now. L2, oh my god, it's L2 that guy. Me in here, Fox. 210, let's go. <laughs> Beam, oh, oh my board. god. 36, 72, 100. Nice. 50 dead. We're going to be covering two methods today. Close range spamming and close range tapping. We won't be covering the long range method in this video because that is a more advanced trick that you'll need to know more about the game to use effectively. But these two methods are still very powerful and even a beginner could realistically pick these up. Also, with those clips of aim assist that you saw earlier, once I'm done explaining each method, I'm going to explain those clips in detail in relation to which method I use so you can see an actual example of how to use them effectively. For our first method, we're gonna be talking about close range spamming. This method is very easy to pull off and works in a wide variety of scenarios. It works great at close to medium range. So maybe point blank range, zero meters to 50 to 100 meters maximum. You can use it further than that. It'll become a lot less effective though. So I wouldn't recommend it, but it can still kind of work at that range. In terms of guns that it works well with, it's going to work well with any gun that has a very high rate of fire. So like a SCAR, Silence DR, Silence SMG, Pistol, Silence Pistol, Compact SMG. These kind of weapons you use at close to medium range with high rate of fire is going to work great. Now, in terms of actually how to use this method, it is very simple to use. All you have to do is make sure your feet are on the ground, aim as close as you can, and just rapidly tap L2 in and out, in and out. And that's honestly it. If you just continuously spam the left trigger, Every time you click in, it's going to snap onto the target if you're close enough. So you can basically just continuously keep snapping on your target and keep aiming with near perfect precision if you do it correctly. Now, this doesn't mean the game will entirely aim for you. You still need to stay close to the target while you're doing this. But if you're a little bit off, the game will automatically correct that for you. And you can basically get very accurate aim. This is going to be effective in situations where, say, you fired a shotgun, you switched to your SMG or AR. You can use this method to do a lot of damage very quickly. Um, in a last ditch scenario, you can use this, you know, pull out your SMG and just start spamming out two and hope that you can get enough damage in time. You can use this AR, someone flying nearby you, you can continuously spam L2 and keep the lock on as they glide. There's a lot of situations where this method is going to work really well and it's really easy to pick up. So overall, it's definitely one I recommend trying out. Very easy to use and I won't lie, it can be fun to get those crazy lasers. All right, now that I've explained the method of L2 spamming at close range in detail, let's have a look at our examples once again to get an idea of what this will look like in game. So in this example, don't have a shotgun, really doesn't matter. I know the enemy's up there, so I'm gonna pull the AR as that's gonna be my most effective weapon at close range, even without aim assist, and it's gonna work best with this method at close range. I jump, right? And as soon as my feet touch the ground, already tapping L2, right? Obviously this guy's not even looking at me, so this is a perfect opportunity, right? Out, out in. Out, in, out, in, right? You can see I'm cycling it very quickly. And as you can see, even though my aim is not 100% perfect, see I'm a bit off here, it's not gonna matter because as I go back in, it resets and it just does the pull snap on effect onto them. I get the final hit, right? Very easy to pull this trick off. It doesn't require anything crazy. Let's go on to our next example. Okay, same deal here. Yes, I have a spaz, but at this range, the spaz is not going to do a ton of damage, right? It'll, I'll maybe get 40, 50 damage, but I'm better off. Look, I have green SMG. I'm a high ground. Perfect opportunity. Peek over the edge right here. See, I'm already clicking in. Aim down sights. Aim's a little bit off, right? But look, boom, gets corrected. And it just snaps right on. Start holding the trigger. Aim in, out, in, out. Even though this guy is slightly moving, doesn't matter. Because I'm aiming in and out, it's going to keep correcting onto them. And if you just, you know, aim as best as you can while using this trick, you can have perfect aim and just shred people just like that. For our second method today, we're going to be covering close range tapping. This method differs because instead of spamming the left trigger as fast as possible, you're going to time the left trigger for when you're ready to fire. The reason why this is important is because with certain weapons like a shotgun, you're not going to be standing around continuously spamming L2 waiting for your shotgun to cock and fire again. Rather, you're going to pull the shotgun out, take your quick shot, and then get behind cover, build a wall, reset your edit, something like that. So the first method will not work well, but this method will. This will work well with guns such as the pump shotgun, tack shotgun, dual pistols do work well, flintlock pistol, hand cannon, up to about 
For shotguns, it'll only be about 20 meters. The hand cannon and flint knock, it'll work a little bit further than that. But once you get beyond 50 to 100 meters, you need to use the advanced tactic at long range. So keep this at a close to medium range. Now, how this method works is you're going to have, you say you're going to pull your shotgun and you're going to line up your shot as close as you can as it's drawing, tap L2 right before you fire, fire, and then you're going to do whatever you need to do. So get behind cover, build a wall, reset and edit. This method is going to be a little bit more difficult than the last method because you only have one chance to get the L2 tap correctly and hit the shot. There's a couple key things to remember with this method. Your feet need to be on the ground when you're going to tap the L2 because if you're in the air, you can't aim down sights, you can't use the aim assist. And the second thing is this method with faster rate of fire guns like the tack shock and the dual pistols that aren't ridiculously fast but faster, you're going to time this method with every time they cycle or every time they fire. So with the tack shotgun, you might be doing it um, you might be firing multiple shots before you build a wall. So you're going to tap L2 right before the tack shotgun fires every time. And with the dual pistols, you're going to tap L2 right before it cycles between his bursts. And with the burst rifle, which isn't in the game, but if it was, you would tap L2 right before it fires that three round burst. So this method is still important to learn because the first method won't work with slower rate of fire weapons such as this, but this method does work very well with those weapons. So overall, if you can get these two methods down, which I think are pretty easy to get, You'll be able to use aim assist very effectively at close to medium range, which will really help you as these are the most common fights in this game. All right, now that we've had a discussion on how to do the close range tapping method, let's look at two examples of executing this in real world gameplay. So right here, we're attacking an enemy who's in a box right here, right? We see this, they jump out, so I have to switch back to my shotgun. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get my feet on the ground and I'm gonna tap L2. And you may think, wow, you're really far off to be tapping L2. And you are right. You're not going to get 100% of a lock on from this far away. But I still recommend tapping L2 anyway, because you're going to get just that little bit of help. And that help will be enough, along with turning my stick to the right, to get a max damage shot off. You know, at close range, you can be quite a ways off and still get a rot auto rotation. So it's always worth tapping L2 with the shotgun if you can because it's going to give you a little bit of extra help if you're anywhere near your opponent to get a snap-on effect. Let's look at our next example. Our next example here is actually going to combine both of our methods. So we're going to kind of skip over the first method. It's just the standard L2 spamming at close range, nothing crazy, do 100 damage, right? But right here, we're going to switch to our flint knock to shoot up the wall. That's not the important part, or shoot up the ramp. But right here, I still do the L2 anyway, even though it doesn't do anything against the ramps. But I'm going to swap to the shotgun. See, I'm un ads right? Trying to get as close as possible. Re-ADS. It's going to give me the snap on. Fire. And get a nice clean shot. Right? So the key here is always go for the snap on. Even if you're a bit further away from the shotgun, it's still going to work. Right? Press L2. Wait just a split second and then fire. And if you're close enough, the L2 will give you the snap on effect and get you close enough to hit the shot. Uh, in the next guide video, I'm going to be doing advanced guide where I cover how to do the long range tapping method. It is much more difficult to pull off than these two methods. But if you feel like you've gotten to at least an intermediate level with this game, I definitely recommend giving it a look because that method is the most powerful of the three. And with that, I hope this helps you and I'll catch you in the next video.